as we get set to restart Oklahoma State and Oklahoma game two of this series to close out the regular season after the Pokes pulled off the upset last night in game one. That's yep. it, everybody gets one pitch. Or one strike. Much of the crowd has returned. And Poulard is called out strike three. She claims she got hit by the pitch. Yeah, if she swings and misses and it hits the hand on the bat there, she's still going to be out with a couple of no decisions. Infield pop, left side, Tiare Jennings at short. Two down. And it's been a real good leader for this young group of cowgirls. And that's going to fall in front of Jada Coleman. And a base hit for Wong who leads this team in batting average, home runs, and runs batted. Oh, this hitter's trying to figure out the strike zone. And she draws the walk. And well, that bumps a runner into scoring position for Davis. Top five, all expected to host regionals and supers amongst the favorites to get to the World Series. Ground ball to Jennings, it's short. Side retired, couple stranded. Sooners will pick up the bats. Hardly at all, and they are walking a ton as a group. And there is a punch out. Coleman in disbelief, and a strikeout for Rosenberry. And Rosenberry with that velocity is going to come under. Ground ball to first. Godwin will step on the base, two down. And here comes Tiara. Position with her hands on time. Checks that one. Straight away center back to the track and it will stay in the yard. With the breeze blowing in. Jennings is retired. Tim swings up and out of the zone and the second strikeout for May, one down. Work and a one-two count. Jennings has been busy, handles that hot shot, two out. And that will squirt through the right side at a base hit for McDonald. Second of the ball game for Oklahoma State. And just like in the first inning, Kenny Gaius. Pops it up, back on the grass is Torres, and she's got it. Base hit, one stranded for the Pokes. Still scoreless in Norman. Now, seventh season, excuse me, ninth season now. Snagged at first in foul territory, one down. But Kenny in his ninth season, four straight trips to the World Series. These two programs make it go down. Opposite way for Torres, and that'll drop in fair inside the line. A later to second as McDonald slipped out in the outfield and she's in there standing up. And the first base runner for the Sooners. Cassidy Pickering, you see that front toe that she leaves open. First walk drawn for the Sooners and a couple are aboard. This year, And it's three. Oh, called strike three on Hansen. Two strikeouts for. Swing and a miss, and Rosenberry comes all the way back from 3-0 to get the strikeout. Rosenberry's been very good at using both sides. They are yelling right now. Well, and it's really become a rivalry the last few years because Oklahoma State now is starting to win occasionally. And. That ball got away from Hansen and Poulard to first. Here's Talon Edwards. Does get the bunt down. Brito fires to second in time to get the lead runner. 
All right, this was all about that champion. Yeah. Wong drops down to scoop that one up, and Jennings is there, two down. And that'll find the grass out and left, base hit for Carly. Edwards will hold it second. Right back up the middle. They're gonna hold the runner at third. Edwards will stay there. So now the base is loaded for Claire Tim, swinging at the first pitch and Sanders has it at first. Cowgirls leave them loaded here in the third. <laughs> Boom, slashes that one to the right side. One down. Well, and to Holly's point, you know, a lot of times when we played, and I know we did this with Team USA. And who they represent as part of this Oklahoma culture. Thank you, Holly. Coleman with the infield pop-up, two down. Hope to maybe have that in place in time for the NCAA tournament. Parker reaches for the outside pitch. Godwin's there to gobble it up. One, two, three inning for Rosenberry. Scoreless, still in Norman. Championship games for you next Saturday on ESPN2. Wark pulls that to Brito. One down. And then, of course, uh, one week from just yeah. second seeds, but third seeds. Brown ball to second. Two down. Yeah, that there will be a, a good host bubble for uh, the regionals in the cement had been smoking hot of late, but then they lost two of three to Syracuse this weekend. Duke wins the ACC. Brito. And a one, two, three inning. Holly's got Kenny Gajewski on the mic. A couple of All-Americans here to start things off. Jennings got under it. McDonald drifting over, one down. Well, as a pitcher, when you're throwing and you know it's going to hurt. In this fourth inning, she is grinding. Senior from Winchester, Virginia. Started her career at Virginia Tech. Brito out into shallow center, and that's going to drop. And she's going to take second because nobody was there to cover. They were all out in center field. And this is off the end of the bat, but they are throwing inside of these batters. Chops that out to left center. Poulard is there, and Brito will hold at second, two down. Pickering out to center, and that's going to drop. They're waving Brito home. Poulard's throw is... Not in time as Brito slides under the tag. And the Sooners take the lead. By Alyssa Brito, because I thought that there was a chance Poulard could catch this ball in center field. She looked like she was going to watch Brito. She just goes. If she's going to catch this ball, she's done. A good throw at home brings it up just a little bit. A close play at home. I don't know if they're going to take a look. And Hanson draws the walk. And the bat gets passed to Sidney Sanders. Struck around. Rosenberry delivers big. Not able to identify that pitch. And it's really all about spin. It's about speed. First pitch swinging down the line. Sanders is there, two out. And after a one, two, three inning in the fourth, looking good here. Heading into the postseason for the Sooners. Wong drives one deep and out of here. The Pokes tie it up. The home run ball for Caroline Wong. Seventeenth of the 
this season. Everything Caroline Wong had been seeing had been inside, inside, then a little bit of off speed, but this left more middle and up. This is the cookie zone for Caroline Wong. She's able to not only connect to this, but blast it out here. The hardest hit ball we've seen in the game today. Wong's butt has been very quiet this series. Godwin, base hit. 7% drop balls. Dropping down the bunt is Riley Boone. Go ahead, run aboard to open up the bottom of the fifth for the Sooners. Coleman shows it, then slaps it to third. And Boone able to, no, they're gonna call her out at second. I think she was safe. like a little bit of a bobble and a wait. Edwards waiting for Davis to get over to the bag. That's safe. Yeah, that hesitation from Edwards was everything. As soon as she hesitated, she needed to go one. Of course, the speed of Coleman. And that speeds up the process. And they are going to keep the call as is and call her out. Well, she also sees Casey Clark back in Tampa, who's a great pitching coach. So. Had some really good work. And there is the free pass to Parker. Yeah. Go ahead, run now at second base. Ground ball to third, and it bounces off of Edwards, and everybody's safe. Setup pitch is something hard low. She frames that up, gets the call. 3 1. Yeah. Ball four, and that'll walk in a run, and the Sooners are back in front. Well, the Audis are shallow and shifted way left. Another 2-2 two -two from Lexi, and the swing and a miss. Kilfoyle with a couple of strikeouts on the off speed this inning, but also a walk. To Oklahoma State needs a win to stay in the race, and Claire Tim launches that one deep and gone, and the home run barrage in this series continues for the Pokes. First pitch. Wow, first pitch swinging. And it counts. Claire Tim, though, you can tell she's hunting inside. Gets a pitch right on that corner. Beautiful job. Once you get barrel to a pitch in this location with the power of Tim, immediate home run. Yeah, eighth home run of the year for Claire Tim. Just driving that ball deep. And that's when you're just smart. You're just knowing what you're going up, looking for a hunting, and then you're just reacting. You see it on the inner half. You're, th you're sitting in here today. Holly Rowe, I think, is working on the, uh, is that trademark yet? The Gasso Garden out there in center field. Michaela Wark, another deep drive, and that is gone. Her second of the series. And as soon as she swung the bat, she started to celebrate. Immediately. Kayla Warwick, watch this. Get your dugout. This is before, by the way, the ball is still in the air. She just turns to her dugout, throws down her bat. Absolutely annihilated the softball. Tenth home run of the year. Hit one yesterday as well off of Kelly Maxwell, who was her former teammate. 
this Oklahoma State team, you can tell they are just bashing it this year coming into the day's game with 77 home runs. Adding, that is more. three last night, three to dip. One of the things Oklahoma State did yesterday against Maxwell is get on the plate, try to take away the inside part of the plate. And a hit batter. Sounds like you were. Vietnam. Now base runner for Megan Bloodworth. Corners are in, expecting the bunt, and that will stay on the chalk. And everybody's safe. Worse up, headed for third. And the short game works. Runners on the corners. And nobody out. And that's a tough play for Kelly Maxwell because I think she's letting it go. 2-2. Two -two. Lifts that one to left and turning the defender around and it reaches the wall and it's gone. Three run, home run. It's the third of the inning for Oklahoma State. And off the bat, I did not think that that was leaving the yard. If you look at the replay on this, this ball off the bat looks like it's going to be a shot to Pickering. You can see the way that Poulard has worked back from an 0-2 count. It's down at her shoelaces on the outer half. She goes and gets it, but the wind is blowing out, and this ball just leaves the yard. Short compact swing, top hand heavy, the way that she's got that split grip. Watch Pickering. Pickering came in two steps yep. to your point, Smitty. Yep. Her reaction was this is a fly ball in, and then it just carried all the way over the fence. Came into the game with the fifth best DRA in the country. Hansen with the catch and collided hard with the backstop and the wall. Remember she had a knee injury. Gets to this so quickly, knows where the netting is, continues to stay with it. Get into the fans there, holds on to it for a catch. She's in pain. Wong, check swing, back to Maxwell. Two down. Least a share of the Big 12 regular season title. It's been Oklahoma's for what, the past 12, 11, 11 years, 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 in years in a row. Of course, for Kenny Gajewski, Texas won the series in Austin. Oklahoma State beat Texas, but in Stillwater. Ground ball to Brito at third, and the inning comes to an end, but three in a row. Hanson grounds out to third. If they lose this, then Texas could win the title outright tomorrow against Texas Tech, a team they beat 20 runs and have more offensive production, but their pitchers are giving up more. Yeah. For other teams, it just gives them so much more hope. And a strikeout of Lilio. Infield pop. And she gets a one, two, three inning. And the Pokes are now three outs away. Right back to Keeney. Oh, and the throw gets away from Sanders at first. And another error. Still, still one more at bat for the Sooners in the seventh. And a strike out of the pinch hitter, Katie Lott. One down. And it's popped up, Burrito has it. Well, it's been all up and down the, the lineup, too. Every, every position, all nine in the batting order have reached base. So far today. Winning every facet so far. Bloodworth grounds to short. And that'll do it. Last chance coming up. And it's the top of the order for... The balls that have been hit off the end of the bat, the ones that have dropped in so shallow. 
Parker check swing, and the only play will be to tag the runner. Coleman over to second, one out. Below 250 in her last 15 games. Reaches for that one. Two down. Brito, grounder to Rosie Davis at second. Ball game, and the series goes to Oklahoma State as they win in Norman and take the series for the first time in 31 years. How about the bats of Oklahoma State? And we've seen it yesterday, but then to today. So quiet through the first four innings, and then the home run started by Wong in the fifth. Four more, three more in the sixth inning, and that's the difference of this game. And the composure of Oklahoma State, after the win yesterday, they didn't really celebrate. Some teams, when they beat Oklahoma, they celebrate yeah. like they just won a national championship. So you could tell that this Oklahoma State team, very confident going up against Oklahoma, and both these clubs getting together to 